There are a lot of unique and unusual galaxies out there in the universe, but in this video we're actually going to be discussing some, if not the most unique ones we've discovered so far. A type of a galaxy that looks very different from anything else we've ever seen before, and that even today is somewhat difficult to explain in terms of its origins. With the recent study you can find in the description below, now discovering a new member. This is known as a polar ring galaxy. An unusual type of a galaxy where the outer ring of gas, and also the outer ring of stars, doesn't actually orbit in the same direction or even in the same plane as the rest of the galaxy. With this one right here, known as NGC 660, being one of the more popular examples. Although here it's not a true polar galaxy, because there is a bit of an angle between the galaxy and the ring itself. And a slightly better example being this galaxy, known as the Helix, also known as NGC 2685, where you can kind of see that the plane and the ring itself are kind of perpendicular to one another. Something that in terms of the galactic formation is not particularly easy to explain. Most of the simulations that have been run when galaxies are created generally don't produce these effects. They generally produce regular spiral galaxies or sometimes elliptical galaxies or anything in between. So how exactly are the polar galaxies supposed to form here then? Here's actually another beautiful example of a galaxy known as NGC 5266. Although in this case I guess it's a little bit difficult to tell that this is a polar galaxy because the central galaxy is more or less elliptical. But objects like this kind of give us a hint on how all of this is created. So first of all, all of the known polar galaxies are generally documented in what's known as SPRC, Sloan Digital Sky Survey of Polar Ring Galaxies. And currently it contains 275 candidates, with only 70 being best candidates, suggesting that these types of galaxies are actually exceptionally rare. Out of nearly 2 trillion galaxies in the observable universe, we seem to only have 275 polar galaxies. Which obviously means that discovering a new one is a huge deal. But I guess what makes all of them kind of similar is that apart from the ring, in their center they tend to contain what's known as the lenticular galaxy. It's sort of a galaxy that's not truly elliptical, but that's also not truly a disk shape either. In other words, it's not a spiral, it's not an elliptical galaxy, it's something in between. And today is believed that pretty much all of them are a result of some kind of a major collision between two galaxies although their true formation origin is still being debated even today. But in these polar ring galaxies, the lenticular galaxy is surrounded by a ring that's in almost perpendicular location. But more importantly, it stays separate from the galaxy for billions of years. In other words, this remains as a stable structure, possibly even a permanent structure. Now so far, approximately 400 candidates have been discovered to date, but only a few of them, or actually more like a dozen, have been officially confirmed. And so obviously to try to explain their origin and to try to explain exactly what's happening here and how they're formed, the scientists need to find more examples and potentially more in-between examples in order to potentially discover their origin and their formation story. And that's precisely what the Japanese scientists behind the study wanted to do, by using one of the Japanese telescopes known as Subaru. They essentially focused on trying to discover more polar galaxies using some of the recent surveys. And they found one very good candidate. And to me personally, it was actually really surprising that it was just one. It really highlights how extremely rare these galaxies are. Currently, they refer to it as G0953, a galaxy that seems to be located pretty much at the edge of the survey they used, Cosmic Evolution Survey. A survey that employed several telescopes, including Subaru, but also including the Hubble Space Telescope. And naturally, the survey that already discovered quite a lot of interesting discoveries. But interestingly, this galaxy was originally found back in the original release from the survey, back in the year 2000, so like 22 years ago. But it wasn't until now that the scientists were able to realize that this is not just any galaxy, but a very unique polar galaxy. A galaxy that's about 39 billion solar masses, and is also forming stars at the rate of 2.6 solar masses per year. But if we were to look at it slightly closer, it might actually resemble this right here, NGC 4650A one of the few polar galaxies that have been actively studied in the last few years. And so in this case, as you can see, a lot of this mass is distributed both in the ring and in the central disk. And so similarly, approximately one-fifth of all of the mass in this galaxy is in the polar ring, whereas about 26 billion solar masses are in the central disk, with the ring in this case being roughly around two and a half times bigger than the central disk. But what makes this discovery particularly unusual 
is of course the position itself. You can sort of see in this image that it almost looks like a cross. And that's because, like in similar examples I showed you, this is an almost perpendicular ring and has rarely been observed in other galaxies. More importantly, it seems to be almost perfect in its shape and doesn't seem to possess any disturbed features, suggesting that it was produced a long time ago. But from this observation, the scientists also are pretty certain that the disk itself is much younger than the galaxy because it seems to be a little bit bluer. And the central galaxy is very likely a disk, potentially similar to other lenticular galaxies like NGC 2787. But because no additional observations have been made so far, and the scientists haven't even measured the redshift, we don't even know how far away and specifically how big this galaxy currently is. For all we know, this could be super far away and super big. Or maybe it's much closer to us and thus much smaller. But it's galaxies like this, galaxies that have a relatively prominent and relatively old ring around them, that may actually finally help us understand how all of this forms. For example, if this is a result of some kind of a galactic passage or galactic collision, as currently believed by many scientists, it's quite possible that in some collisions, instead of combining into one large galaxy, some galaxies end up stripping a large amount of material from the other galaxy, turns the galaxy into the lenticular galaxy, but then also ends up forming a relatively large disk that's essentially in the polar orbit. With the main difference here being the angle of approach. If the smaller galaxy approaches from a relatively perpendicular position, it might essentially end up losing a lot of its mass, with the mass then assuming a ring-like formation. With some studies suggesting that a small fraction of lenticular galaxies that have smaller galaxies approach them from either the top or the bottom, eventually forming these rings or some kind of a similar formation over time, with the estimates suggesting approximately half a percent of all lenticular galaxies. But that's of course just one of the explanations that currently unfortunately does not have much proof. A much more convincing explanation is unfortunately the explanation we currently do not have. But by studying galaxies like this, and specifically by looking at various gas features and various star formation features using telescopes like the James Webb, and also trying to establish the timeline for the formation of some of this gas and some of these stars, with time we can definitely work out how all of this works and how these unusual polar ring galaxies are actually formed. Although it's really through papers like this that discover new examples and new potential candidates, and not really through the simulations, that we're probably going to finally find the answer. Which means that, at the moment, we don't have the conclusion, but the scientists are probably going to be releasing more and more studies and finding more of these galaxies using new surveys that will hopefully one day answer this once and for all. Until then, it's still going to remain a mystery. A mysterious and somewhat unusual type of a galaxy that we generally do not see much in the universe. A polar ring galaxy. Once we discover more, I'll make sure to follow this up with another video. Until then, thank you for watching, check out some of the previous videos on a similar topic in the description below, subscribe, share this with someone who loves learning about space and sciences, come back tomorrow to learn something else, support this channel on Patreon by joining channel membership or by buying the wonderful person t-shirt that now features James Webb Telescope as well. Stay wonderful, I'll see you tomorrow, and as always, bye bye.